Woo! Hi guys, Anna Weber here, and today we're going to be doing a type of video that is kind of different but kind of the same as what we've been doing here on the channel lately. Um, I haven't done a video like this in a while, and it is a costume video. I've been in a real costumey mood lately, and I ordered a like face paint set on walmart.com, so I wanted to try it out. And I wanted kind of a simplistic design, but something that still uses a good amount of colors. So today, I am going to be transforming myself into Celeste, the little cute red owl from Animal Crossing City Folk. And I think she might be in other versions of Animal Crossing. I'm not like a huge Animal Crossing nerd or anything. I just have only played Animal Crossing City Folk and I've watched a couple of videos that people have been doing lately with New Horizons I think is the newest one. Like I said, I, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys my outfit and then I'm going to like do my nails and then paint my face and then color my hair. So here we go. So starting at the top, you've probably already seen the cute little bowl. Um, I wanted to, at first, to put it on the back of my head like hers, but then I realized if I put it on the back of my head, no one would see it from the front, which is where I'm recording this, the front. So I figured I'd just put it on the side like this, which it doesn't feel like it's holding on too good, so I'm going to adjust that. There we go. That's better. Okay, um, I have this red cape, and I'm actually using like the wrist things to make it look like they are wings instead of like a cape. Um, I got this at Target um, a couple of days after Halloween, I think, or maybe it was a couple of days before Halloween. Anyway, Target dollar section, you can't go wrong if you want cheap like costume pieces. Um, I'm wearing this red sweater, which I had for a very long time and I've done several different looks with it. It's very warm, very toasty, and with that I'm wearing this yellow dress underneath it that peeks out a little bit and that represents my birdie legs. And then I'm also wearing these ballet flats for my birdie feet. So yeah, that's that. And now it's time for all the fun, colorful things. And I think I want to do my nails last because I know I'm going to mess them up if I do them first. So I'm probably going to do them last if I do them at all. Because <laughs> after all this, I might just be like, I want to be done with this video. Because that happens sometimes and it's okay. Um, so we're going to start off with the most familiar thing, hair chalk. I've actually stepped away from hair chalk for a while because I've had a couple of disastrous experiences with it but all those happened when I was using it with wet hair because wet hair makes it more permanent than if you do it with just dry hair so usually when I use it on just like dry hair it's not a problem so I'm going to use some of this here red chalk to like color my hair red which is my favorite color Okay, so we just take a little section The thing about these like artist pests chalk pastels is some of them will have really good pigment and then the others will have like very poor pigment when it comes to this method.
why everything will change. Hold on. Let me get another. Yeah, no change. So, trying to this red is not very good for this. coloration going on on my fingers. as much as I care to do right now because I want to get into the face painting okay so I'm just gonna put that back in there okay just checking to make sure my camera isn't like a reflecty one because when you do face paint having a mirror image can sometimes throw you off and we don't want that okay so I'm going to need something to mix paint in, I think. Well, actually, let me look at the picture because I might not need to mix up any colors. 
yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I think I have all the colors I'll need. Um, so, let's just do this. Let's do this. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to try to use one of these makeup wedges that came in the set to apply some of the larger areas and then when we get to the smaller areas we can use like the brushes and stuff. Can I just say makeup sponges feel weird like they feel like they were soaked in soap. Maybe that's because I just did laundry though. Maybe the soap is on my hands. Anyway so here is the makeup wedge. We are not using it. Well, I guess this is. Do, do you guys count face paint as makeup? Because technically, I never thought of face paint as makeup. Personally. I mean, it is a form of art. Makeup is a form of art. So maybe they are the same thing. Maybe face paint is just like early childhood makeup. This is probably a bad idea to apply it like this. Let's at least give it a good shake first. I'm going to set the wedge down, first of all, and do it like this. So if a tongue comes out at once, it goes on my desk. <laughs> because artist. Okay, and I don't think that's the place you're supposed to put the paint when you use a makeup wedge. Oh well. Um, I'll just use another one of these, and I'll like sandwich it off. Yeah, I think you're supposed to use like this for small areas and this for large areas well we've got like a medium size area Ooh, it's like creamy it's like melted whipped cream Ooh, do not eat this it is not delicious probably I don't know I've never eaten face well honestly I've probably digested accidentally that DIY face paint that I've used before but not this stuff <laughs> anyway let's get down to business to defeat the huns okay that that looks a little weird but that's fine it's a learning curve just like it was before okay i think this is giving me the opacity that i wanted so i might just go ahead and do all the white sections with this to start off at least and then we can like blend it out a little bit as the beauty gurus say, um, with one of the brushes or appliques. I think they're more like appliques, really, because the the two little brushes that they give you, it's like watercolor brushes, based on my knowledge of brushes, but which is not like expert level of knowledge. So I'm not gonna say it's like facto or anything but I've been around the painters aisles a couple of times and I've looked at like the different brushes and they don't look like the highest quality brushes you know and this is the question that I always ask myself when I'm doing face paint do I go all in my eyes like all around my lids and stuff because it always scares me and I always am scared that I'm going to get it really in my eye. And my face is getting really warm which scares me. I hope I'm not having an allergic reaction to this because that would ruin my day. And my eye is getting red. It's probably just like the oils and paint reacting with like the little bits of pimples that I have going on. Um, anyway. So I'm not going to do the black eye part of Celeste because I want my eye to be the eyes, if that makes sense. And I feel like if I tried to like black out my eyes, it might make it look a little scary. And I don't want it to be scary. I want it to be cute. This is definitely a very sticky paint. Um... Oh yeah, that is definitely burning. I think we need a little bit more paint. 
I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> and if I do, I hope something good comes out of it. We're just gonna smear a little bit on the tip there. Using my finger, don't care. Okay, there we go. And I definitely got stuck for a second there. Okay, so how do I want this to go? Right now I look like the Phantom of the Opera, can I just say? Speaking of the Phantom of the Opera, um, I have, like, gotten really into, like, Phantom of the Opera, like, the Broadway musical, and Love Never Dies, the sequel, and, like, Phantom of the Opera memes lately. I even, like, wrote, like, kind of, like, a Phantom of the Opera fan fiction, which is, like, an alternate universe, and... And it's like the Phantom if he were younger and a girl and if I had written Phantom of the Opera. Basically it's a more kid friendly, more family friendly like female younger Phantom. That's like what my story is that I wrote. Definitely not my best work. It's definitely kind of fluffy feeling but let me know if you guys would like to hear it at, at the very least to make fun of it because I'd probably make fun of it too if I read it to you guys because like I always whenever I have ideas for fan fiction and I actually like pull through and write like a full-fledged fan fiction and I make it all the way to the end I always am like, how can I like share this with my YouTube audience? Because I don't really have like people that I don't know that I'm also friends with on other social media because I'm smart like that. I, I don't add people on social medias that I don't know except for like Twitter I think I do well I don't I'm not friends with them on Twitter but I follow them on Twitter which is Twitter is interesting I think because it's Twitter is more like YouTube to me because there are you can like follow people and get their like news regularly to you and that's kind of like subscribing right and you can get like notifications and stuff from people. So Twitter is like YouTube if YouTube like just had like short little updates I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's my thought process anyway. Why do I feel like I look like Palpatine right now? If you don't know who Palpatine is, um, he's like the old, old Sith Lord that's like Darth Vader's master in um, Star Wars. Whenever I go to do face paint, that's when my skin gets the itchiest. This 
pretty good paint. It's just a little patchy in some areas. But I think that's me, not the paint. It's me, not you. Pretty sure I just got a teeny bit of that really close to my eye. Very, very sticky. I think another round of paint would be a good idea. Not sure what I'm gonna do with my lips. I'm not sure if I wanna paint over them or not. I always feel weird painting over my lips. I always try to put like actual like lip products on my lips. But for this, I might have to take a risk and paint on my lips. Oh, that's getting better coverage kind of. It, it looks better to me. That looks more like it's scraping off the paint right there. It just doesn't want to stick to that one cheekbone. It's so weird. I think I should try something. Because the sponge is like not working. Ah, my hair is like in it. I can feel millions of pimples starting to form on my face. Where's the brush in here? They obviously should have included bigger brushes, can I just say? The shame one of those crayon things that they include in this doesn't include white because that would have been very helpful. I feel like. Maybe I just have like an allergy or something in paste paint that is also in like the water washable paint. Hope not. Otherwise, I've been torturing my skin this whole time, which would be pretty bad. Just trying to use this to patch up some of the really see-through parts. Maybe if I squeeze the sponge more, it'll work better because, you know, that'll release the paint from inside the sponge. Oh yeah, that's giving us better coverage. Let's do a second coat on the eye right there. Okay, that's all I want to do with the white right now, except for that little patch right there that just came off. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with the white. I, I want to move on, because right now this looks like nothing, and I don't want to spend tons of time doing white when it looks like nothing. Okay, so let's move on. So what else do we need to do? Woo! 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 Thumbs up if you get that reference. <laughs> okay, that looks a lot better. Okay. Looks like the next most part is the red, which is going to be like all up in my hairline, <laughs> which is fine. It's okay. Okay, let's do this. So we got another big thing of red paint. This one actually does need some shaking because I see some like variant of color in the bottle. See, see. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and then like I'm gonna have it be long like my brow. 
line. one of these big like applique or sponge brush things and see if that works better than the makeup wedge. It looks like a tongue depressor that you put like a sponge on. Which probably wouldn't be a pleasant experience if someone tried to use it to actually depress your tongue. Because it would like soak up the fluids from your tongue. Look at that expert close up. Like I'm. Okay, now we just frost me like a cake. Ooh, that looked. That looks like really good coverage. I like heard the sponge like make a like bubble noise as I'm like rubbing it across my forehead. Let's go in a little more. That looks about right. Let's check the rest of this picture. Whoa, when did I get all this paint on my fingers? Probably when I was squeezing that sponge. Okay, it goes like down the side of her cheek. The red does. Ooh, that's working pretty good. Am I going to paint my ears? I didn't even think of that. Should I paint my ears? I don't want to get paint in my ears because I, I've already, like, gotten, like, too much water in my ears for it to be healthy before. And it was really painful, and I don't want to even think about how painful it would be if I got paint stuck in my ears. So, I'm not going to paint my ears. Owls don't even have ears, so... Oh, I probably should do my chin in white. Okay. So I'll just like do my neck in red, I think. Ooh, I could like do the plaid pattern on my neck, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm an owl with a really long neck.
how I feel like doing face paint wise with the red. Okay. Ooh, that is very crispy. Okay. Do 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 do. So this is where things get a little more complicated. Okay. So next we're going to do the beak. Now I can do this as complicated or as not complicated as I want. So I'm going to go for the simpler version. And I think I'm going to use one of these applicator thingies. But in the smaller, more square one because I want to make sure I got that square edge, like the beak has. Oh, and with this, I might just be able to like dip, dip, dip. Oh yeah, that won't be so bad. If I just like dip, dip, dip. Okay, so. I always get like so nervous when I do these. I'm going to like use my nose as a guide for how this should be shaped. I feel like we're not getting as good a coverage with the yellow, maybe because we put are putting it on top of the white and we're using this applicator. It looks like it's just scraping off the paint. When I try to apply more. inside Trying to along with my top lip. So I can be like, hey, my mouth is the mouth of the beak, you know? Because I don't want to have to paint the entire mouth and do like a fake mouth thing. A fake mouth thing can be cool if you want a creepy effect, but I want a more cutesy effect. So I'm not going to do a fake mouth.
Okay, so I think that's enough for the yellow. Okay, so now for the dimples and the white spots along the red. The dimples are bigger, so I'm going to do that next. use another one of these things and I think I see a good shade of pink in this set of pink okay is that a good shake that might be a little white for that but it's the closest pink we have, so that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to use this giant cost cotton swab looking thing. This looks more like an earplug. Yeah, it looks more like an earplug. Okay, so in reference to the other things on her face. is getting better like that is actually applying better than the other piece I think I could be wrong but it seems like it's applying better I'm trying very careful not to make the dimples touch the beak, but I think I just failed. And I think I made this dimple way huger than this dimple. Okay, now for the white spots, and then we can get into this. I'm going to need a reference to see how big the spots are. It's a little bit bigger than the nostrils, so probably that applicator we were using would be fine. That one's square, though. on like one of those little popsicle sticks, um, not popsicle sticks, um, lollipop sticks. Look, I find that amusing. Anyway.
might have to reapply that. And I think that's it for our owl face paint. Yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, this is some crusty stuff. Half of me is like, I want to paint my nails still. The other half is like, I just want to wash this off and lie down. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, return to costume tutorials. Because I have so many ideas for characters that are a little more obscure and that most people might not think to dress up as for Halloween or a costume party or something. So... Which reminds me, if you guys want me to dress up as Celeste, the beautiful, adorable little red owl from Animal Crossing. Oh, I never touched up my chin. Hold on, let me fix that. As I was saying, if you think I should dress up as Celeste for Halloween this year, be sure to give this video lots of likes, shares, and if you really like my kind of content, subscribe. Because whichever costume related video has the most views by Halloween, that is what I will be for Halloween. So be sure to give the, video, the costume tutorials that you like the most shares on all your social media platforms that you can share YouTube videos on. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh. 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 Ooh.